Hello there, speed rampers with DaVinci Resolve. I've been trying to help people learn how to speed ramp easier with some of the new tools and the new functions in DaVinci Resolve 20. And I'm running into a lot of angry people who uh, don't like the way the retime curve works. There are specific tools for specific jobs, and I think they're using the wrong tool for the wrong job. So let me walk you through it. This is just my opinion. This is not from the DaVinci Resolve manual. So what you're looking at here is a speed ramp clip that moves along slow, then it speeds up, and then it slows back down again. When we create a speed ramp, we're doing two things. Number one, we are re-timing the clip. The word re-timing is very important. We'll get back to that. Re-timing it is changing the speed. So you can see it goes slow, fast, and slow again. We are going to do that down here on the clip, and you can see these little buttons, which I'll show you in a minute. These are called the retime controls. Doesn't it make sense that you would use the retime controls to retime the clip? Yes, it does. That's how it's designed. Once we have retimed a clip, sometimes it's kind of harsh, and we want to smooth out that transition by adding a curve. If you look to the left here, there's a panel that has a curve. This is my curves panel, I'm going to hover over the top left corner here and you'll see it says keyframe curves. If you're trying to change the speed with the curve panel, that's not the best tool. And this is why you're angry. Okay. So let, let me uh, just go ahead and turn off this loop. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to delete that clip altogether. I'm going to get rid of my, uh, marks here. So here is the clip and I'm going to run you through it real quick. So I'm going to start forward here. I'm going to right click on the clip. I'm going to hit retime controls to turn them on. So I'm going to hit the little downward arrow, add speed point. There is also a um, shortcut that you can use and you can see that in one of my other videos. Then I'm going to fast forward to about this point. I'm going to add another speed point. I now have my two keyframed speed points. There are, when you look at a speed point, there are two points to it. The top point changes the speed. The bottom point moves the actual point. We want to speed it up. So I'm going to grab the top point and speed this up to make it go super fast. Now, look in the left, you see this curves panel, it changed. Let me get, I'm going to just undo that and watch the left screen as I change it. And you can see that curves changing over there. That's going to be important for us in a minute. Okay, but I'm changing my speed only here. There it goes. Beautiful. Now it's very abrupt the way it starts and stops. So I want to add a curve to it. I'm going to now come over here. It's the keyframe panel. If it's not open, you hit this keyframe panel when you're in the edit page. And then up here on the top, there are two different little buttons. You want to click the left one, which is our curves. Highlight over those two dots. And then uh, there is a nice curve thing, but it's hidden under there. Ease in and ease out is what we want. If you make this panel bigger, you'll be able to see it. So I'm going to highlight, select those two spots, ease in. So this is the curve panel. Don't try to change the speed here. Just change your curve. I'm going to hold down shift and control and grab the outside edge of my speed point because that's the way I like it. And so we have done a two part speed ramp here. The first part was changing the speed with retiming controls. Then we came over here and we added a curve and changed the curve with our keyframe curves panel. So the, the name says it all. Do your retiming with the retiming tool. Do your curving with the curving tool. Don't try to mix and match. Yes, you can, but it's not the right tool for the job. And that's why you've been frustrated.